I love, I love good gospel music. I love uh, good gospel music. And there's this new gospel artist. Some of you might know her, some of you don't. But her name is Gloria Hallelujah Woods. Yes, she's from Memphis. She's from Memphis. Her name is Gloria Hallelujah Woods. Some of you might know her as Glorilla. Yes, Glorilla, Glorilla, yes. Glorilla has a song called Tomorrow. And she makes this statement that blesses me. She says, every day the sun don't shine. But that's why I love tomorrow. And I'm talking to some people that life ain't been the kindest to you. But you understand that what Big Mama said all the time was right. That weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. That every day is not good. But as long as I can make it to tomorrow, something can turn around. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, yeah. Glow. I understand this is not the season for me to just stay by the side of the gospel artist. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rekakadash. That's all praises to the world calls God is true name in Hebrew is Yahweh. By Hashem in the name Yahweh shall be the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say that all our state elders and apostles of great millstone, peace and mercy. So for light, peace, and swear the truth, the sincerity of the brother Tiles above at Great Millstone, Arizona, Campbell World with another video to edify the you know, here we go. And this dude is a damn oxymoron walking because here it is. He's supposed to be a Christian. He got a cross behind him. And and up. All right. This show you that there ain't no wisdom, no understanding in churches, man. Right? None of it. And, uh, you a big lifting, a hole in the world, world. The Lord in it set us up for us to be big uplifting people in the world. This is, uh, Ephesians. Uh, I'll start. Okay, Romans 13 and 12. It says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Ephesians 5 and 11, it says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful uh, works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And we know the description say the whole world lied in wickedness. So here it is. This dude's promoting. It's a demon gorilla. And... You're supposed to be teaching the, the people in an entirely different way than what the world is. Right? You mentioned her name more than you actually so-called mentioned Jesus. So many times in this little splat, in this little section. Nah, nah. We gonna get out of here by your how about shot. There ain't no, no good day coming to anybody in this world if you're not repentant. To the Heavenly Father and change your ways. That's the chief thing. You got to do that first. There's a uh, Jeremiah 3 or uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1. Jeremiah 23 and 1. It says, Woe to the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Say, Yahweh, and this is a scattering. We, we at the end. Things are obviously at the end. This dude got an uncle on. He got the. He's supposed to be a Christian pastor. He 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 big up in words from a song of niggas in the world. When you could have easily just gone to the scripture and broke it down. See, they're 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 scattering the sheep. Jake don't need entertainers. Jake need the words of the Lord, but but. These pastors, man, they, they just big up anything outside of the scriptures because they don't know the scriptures and spirit ain't dealing with them. Back in Jeremiah uh, 23 and 1, it says, Woe to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors. Say, Yahweh, therefore, thus say, Yahweh, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Forgive me. Um... Ye have scattered of my flock and driven them away, who have not visited them. And there's no visitation being done, because Jake is allowed to stay exactly where they at, being in the Christian church. It says, Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, say Yahweh, and that's what's going to happen. 
If you're not preaching this word right, especially now because the Lord said of the prophets, like the scriptures say, I, 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 the Lord said of the prophets last as unto death, right? Basically meaning in that scripture before, right, you had all these, you know, revolutionary movements, Black Panthers, Brown Berets, all of them, right? You had all these movements, NAACP, Martin Luther King, you had all these people pop up, Marcus Garvey, uh, 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 Nate, Nate, uh, Nat Turner, all these people pop up, right? But the Lord set up the prophets last, and we're here now with a full message that you can't water down, that you can't mix for anything that Esau cannot account for because it's of the spirit. And these pastors, man, all you do is scatter the flock because you pull them back into that BS in the world and it does nothing for them. It's Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to rebellious children, say Yahweh, to take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. This this whole sermon, this, this snippet from this sermon, right, there's nothing more than a covering uh, that is not of the Lord's spirit. The Lord had a way for us to be right. The Lord had a way for us to preach. We didn't need to tie in anything in the world. Brothers might use like references from movies to paint the picture a little better. But what our chief thing is bringing out the scriptures. Because the scriptures tell you that we gather them. Well, let me get this. This is um, yeah, Baruch with uh, four and thirty-seven. It says, "Lo, thy sons, whom thou send away, they come gather together from the east to the west, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High." And that's what we're supposed to do. The gathering, the, the calling, this, this is all being done by the word. We didn't need no rap lyrics, right? We didn't need no damn rap lyrics for Jake to get it, right? It's only about bringing out the word because that's what's going to draw the true believers in. So back in Isaiah 30 and 1, world to the rebellious children say, Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit that he may add sin to sin uh that walk to go down into egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of pharaoh and look dude got an uncle he strengthened himself in the strength of pharaoh and in trust in the shadow of egypt therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of egypt your confusion and this is exactly what's going to happen to niggas man so you wanted to trust in this place since you bigged up it Instead of bigging up, up in the things in the scriptures, used every opportunity to sit here and draw some attention to seem cool and hip. Fuck being cool and hip. When Yahweh Shai came, when Yahweh Shai came, it said he was an austere man. Right? Being austere ain't nothing cool and hip about it, man. It's, it's, it's a grave mindset. It was uh, Ezekiel 44 and yeah, I'll go, I'll get, I'll get this 44 and 22. It says, neither, neither shall they take for their wives a widow, nor her that is put away, but she, but they shall take a maiden of the seed of the house of Israel. No, nah, verse 23, it says, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and and profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. Now you were supposed to teach between the holy and profane. When you go on the gorilla, does this look woman look like somebody who is of a holy nature? Let me let me get a, pull up a picture of this. Now does this look like a person in a holy way? This is the same picture he was pulling up. 
This looks like that. Tits all out. This looks like something you should put in a category of profane. Right? In biblical standards, the scriptures talk about dressing in modest apparel. You didn't put a difference, though. This dude didn't put a difference. And he acted like going and listening to that song. He mentioned the song. Right? Mentioned the lyrics. Then he got the scripture. He didn't get the scripture first. And say, well, they got this line from the scriptures. Then he mentioned Big Mama. What's up with all the woman worship? There's no difference between the holy profane with these people because... That means that they'd have to change. They'd have to fix something about themselves. They have to refrain, to reform their mind to actually fit the, the narrative that the scriptures and that the Lord allowed. Because all that's being done now is a bunch of stuff that the Lord is not cool with, man. This is uh, Ezekiel 22. And... In 26, it says, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Right? I, I just got a picture there. Neither have they showed the difference between the unclean and the clean. Right? He got a, he got a cross in the background, an uncle in his shirt. He big up in a, a, a woman that dresses like a harlot, talks like a nigga. All out of her real element that the Lord put her in to be. Right? It's a walking contradiction. It says, Neither have they showed the difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and, and I am profaned among them. This is a profanation of the Lord, man. On going, big up in harlots in the world. You got Jake in the crowd. Confusing the hell out of their spirit. They don't even know that they need to separate from the things of this world. Her princes, her princes is in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls uh, to get dishonest gain. And that's what these churches are for. They're to destroy, destroy, destroy souls. They're to prey on people like wolves to get a dishonest gain and use the scriptures. Right, that has power, and people get confidence in because it's the scriptures. The word of the Lord is powerful, but then they'll use it all for gain. And on the back end, they don't believe not a damn thing that they're trying to sit here and act like they're saying. It's Matthew twelve. And 30, it says, he that is not with me is against me. He that gathered not with me scattered the broad. And there's a, there's a true way that Yahweh Shai came and this dude is against that way. Big up in fucking rappers. It's fucking crazy, man. Jeremiah 14. And mind you, all of these rappers, they preach an entire thing that's greatly against what the Lord commanded. So much so that it causes the people... To move ill advised and they end up acting like fucking animals. But you big up them, man. Jeremiah 15, 14 uh, and 15, it says, Therefore, thus say Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet say they a sword, yes, yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed, and all the people. Whom they prophesy shall be cast out into the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine in the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. And that's what's going to happen, man. That message of prosperity ain't helping. The Lord didn't send you. Lord willing to edifying. Shalom.